Hey folks, Post here, welcome back to the Polo Masters video, and fresh off of the wild 10 hour Let's Go live stream, um, weirdly enough, I'm actually not tired at all, even though, again, it's 10 hours, I'm just not tired for some reason. Uh, but, anyways, let's get into uh, today's topic and why is this play? <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Six awesome facts about Blizzard. Well, first of all, it, it never hits, so that's one awesome fact about. Oh, the gaming company Blizzard. Never mind. Um, I actually thought it was like the, like the weather Blizzard. But anyways, um, as usual, banner dropping tonight. So let's get into our routine. Should you summon video? Um, Fanti Animus Magius. Coming tonight. I think we already got a bit of a sneak peek of, of Fantina, right? As an NPC in the ghost type training event, which is pretty cool. You know, they've never really done that before. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't do that before, but anyways. Her name is Megia, so we're gonna go over her stats and moveset and all that stuff. And... We'll talk about if she's worth playing or not. Um, so, Fantana Miss Megia, it's a ghost-type striker, which... Honestly, this game really does not have, um, that many. Like, the only ghost-type striker in the game is Chandelier, and Chandelier kinda... has its weaknesses <laughs> let's put it at that <laughs> like it's just Sh Shatter, like its buffs are super weird like it has a tail of triumph it leaves itself burned for like plus three speed and plus two evasiveness which is good and honestly i don't think the burn is that bad but like was it really necessary <laughs> Shop all like special attack, no crit, right? So Chandler's pretty unfortunate. Um, you know, its its stats are fine. It's just that, you know, uh, for, all, for you know, for one, it doesn't have crit, and uh, this is slightly weird. Even though, again, the burn is not that bad. First of all, you don't have any physical attacks. Second of all, burn really doesn't do that much damage, and you're getting like plus three speed and. You know, plus two evasiveness, which is honestly a good trade off, but like, I didn't really have to have that burn. <laughs> Anyways, um, overall, Chandler just doesn't do the job uh, for a ghost type tracker. Thankfully, Miss Magius is much, 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 much better than Chandler. So, um, overviewing it, it's it doesn't have as much special attack as, as Chandler, right? Um, but. It's, it's kid is just much better. So as Ominous Win, which has a very small chance of raising the user's attacks, uh, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Two gauges. Again, like I've said before, I really wish this was just one gauge. So in Bill Up Battle Villa, this could be actually really, really useful as like a one gauge spam. And then you get like get stats without using any MP, right? But unfortunately, it's two gauge, so it's much harder to spam. <laughs> um, X special attack, sharply raised. You know, everyone knows what X special attack is by now. Two uses, plus four special attack. Shadow Ball, that's your standard for Ghost Type, right? 99 power, 118 at max, 505. Three gauge, 100% accuracy, small shaft lowering, dark special defense, which is actually a decent amount, honestly. And then you got Dance With Me. Um, so increases the user's move gauge by three, raises the user's critical hit. So in total, in terms of buffs, you get plus four special attack and plus two um, crit. So that's 80% chance of crit. And then it's passives. Um, oh, sync move's just regular, 250 powers, ghost type sync move, nothing special. Um, spe uh, special. Oh, by the way, it's a special type tracker, if you haven't, no sorry. Um, passives, it has backfire too, which is pretty interesting, so sharply lowers the attack and special attack of all opposing sync pairs, just for the user faints. Is this really that useful? Maybe in co-op? Maybe, like, you know, it's, it's bulk stat, it's not that great, right? Like... Um, it has okay special defense. Its defense is whatever. HP is whatever, right? So, is it going to die relatively easily in co-op? Probably. So, sure, you could use this in co-op. But in single player, you have a tank to draw aggro all the time anyways. So, like, the opponent's not even going to hit Fantina. So, if you're not going to die, then this move's not going to be really useful. And, again, especially in single player, since you have tanks to draw aggro for you, um you will most likely be the last one to die in single player, your Fantina. Um, and if you're the last one to die, 
the backfire does absolutely nothing. <laughs> so not not backfire, not too bad in co-op. Not really useful in single player, unfortunately. Um, Bulkbuster 4, this is good. <laughs> oh boy. Bulkbuster 4, that's a 40% boost on on targets with max HP. Um, we have to wait till Bulkbuster 4, uh, we have to wait till Fantine comes out so we can see how much Bulkbuster 4 actually does um, in terms of, you know, how much HP the opponent has, right? Um, you, you know, there's a DK, right? But with Bulkbuster 4, actually, fun fact, um, Bulkbuster 4 makes Fantina hit harder than the strongest um, uh, striker with a ghost type move. It's not ghost type, but it hits harder than Mewtwo, uh, Mewtwo Shadow Ball with Bulkbuster 4, but it's only on the first hit, right? So, uh, Fantina, good or bad, should you summon for it? It's good. It's good. I'm not going to say it's bad, right? It's not like Reuniclus or whatever. <laughs> Poor Reuniclus, man. Or, or Ethan. Oh, Ethan has its uses. It's not Barry, right? It's um, definitely not red level. Um, it's not Olivia level. It's not Steven level. It's a middle-of-the-road striker that you under no circumstances under no circumstances should you should you pull for this i don't care if you're free to play if you spend money as long as you're not a whale and you're just and, okay i guess one other circumstance if you're like a huge fantina fan if you're a huge huge fantina or miss magius fan go for it if not do not pull for fantina miss magius few reasons first of all mute is the thing Mute is free. Like, a top 5 striker in the game that has ghost type and psychic type moves that's completely free to play. 5 out of 5, 20 out of 20. It's just super weird. Like, why the heck did they just. Why did they release Miss Magius right after, like, the Mewtwo event? <laughs> Where everyone gets a free Mewtwo. Again, free to play unit. Completely free to play. Absolutely insane striker, right? Um, top five striker in the game still. And you release Fantina and Miss Magius. Why? If this like, if this is a bait for something coming up, this is a terrible bait, man. <laughs> Steven, Steven was a good bait. Fantina, come on, really? What kind of bait is this? <laughs> so first reason, um, just use Mewtwo instead. And if you didn't grind for Mewtwo, I mean, what can I tell you? Like, I've been telling people forever, when a legendary event comes around, your number one, number one priority is to grind out that legendary event, get that legendary Pokemon to max level, get it to 5 out of 5, get it to 20 out of 20. All of them, even Rayquaza, who is, and Solgaleo, who are both slightly underwhelming, are still really, really good in the right circumstances. And Mewtwo obviously is insane, you know, one of the best units in the game. Uh, but grind them out, or else you have to summon for Miss Magius. <laughs> Honestly, even if you don't have Mewtwo, don't summon for Miss, Miss Magius. That's like, that's like you just really, really have trouble beating like the the Ghost type, um, Joke Ghost Week, Belvilla stage. That I guess maybe like here's the thing. First of all, it's on a Scotlight, uh, Scotlight Spotlight Scout banner. Um. Which means lower rates for all the others. Five stars, you know, still same rates for Poke Fairs in terms of your you know, focus, right? So two percent, but everyone else is, you know, five percent total, right? Seven percent plus plus Miss Magius. No point summoning on on this on a spot like banner for something that's not like absolute game breaking, right? Um, and also if you really want to spend your gems, like Alexam's banner is up right now. Go do Alexam instead. Like even though you sh probably shouldn't summon on Alexam's banner either, because again. They're both spotlights, but like if if you were to like if you had to summon for something like if you're new to the game you don't have any um, you don't have any um, sync pairs do Alexander's banner okay <laughs> do Sabrina's banner don't do um, Miss Megia's banner um, again she is a decent striker she just gets outclassed by a, a free to play unit although again by outclass I mean like in general does more damage. Um, does Miss Magius do more damage on a Shadow Ball against a, you know, opponent with max HP on Bulkbuster 4? Yes, but, you know, <laughs> it's, 
it's not like that much more damage and you need like five copies at 20 out of 20 yeah no no don't summon on it don't summon on it. another thing to consider right the last data mine ended on exactly this event well it's not an event but banner the last data mine ended exactly on fantina's banner right so that means we should be getting new data mine info soon hold on to your gems we're getting new data mine info we could get info on new banners potentially another pokey fair right maybe even two poke fair if it's you know six new blue and six new leaf um again we don't know if signature suit blue and six new leaf are 100 percent confirmed pokey fair it's possible um also apparently i see a lot of people saying oh signature suit means poke fair that's not true like hello we ju literally just had signature suit Alyssa's banner and it was not a poke fair is it very likely that six new blue and six new leaf are going to be poke fairs yes it's likely isn't confirmed no it's not confirmed stop saying it's confirmed a pokey fair banner that's just not true it's not confirmed uh but do keep in mind those could potentially be coming we could be getting a data mine really really soon again like in the game data right now we don't have any future content very very likely there will be data mine content coming up soon which by the way if you want to you know keep up with all the latest news about all that stuff official or unofficial <laughs> leaks rumors data mine stuff Surprise channel. So, anyways, uh, that's me for this one. I mean, this is a pretty easy skip. Again, Fantina, Nismegius, honestly, not not a bad striker. Not a bad striker. But nothing crazy either. So, this is Kip. She'll be in future banners anyways. I'll bite out a much, much, much lower rate. But don't don't spend gems on Fantina and Nismegius. Even in, like... I, 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 again, unless, like, you're just... Vantina's biggest fan, then go for it. Um, oh, however, one person is going to summon for uh, Vantina and Miss Megia tonight, uh, at least. And that's going to be me. <laughs> so, <laughs> tune in tonight. Um, when Vantina and Miss Megia drops, uh, we'll be doing summons live for Vantina and Miss Megia, and hopefully we can get her with a relatively low amount of gems. I don't want to spend too much gems on this banner, uh, just in case something crazy comes up soon. But, I want to catch them all, so... What can you do? Anyways, again, uh, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, guys, think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I'll see you guys in the next one.